Why do we keep breaking up and getting back together again? That's something that I found myself asking when I was going through a lot of the challenges with my big ex, and that's something that maybe you're asking yourself as well too, if you're having some uh, on-again, off-again issues with someone in your life. Let's go ahead and talk about that. Hey there, so uh, thanks for coming with me for another walk and talk video. Uh, it's, it's good for me to get out, get some exercise, get some fresh air. I'm kind of getting over the, the tail end of a cold. It's not like COVID or anything, it's just a normal cold. What I want to talk about today is this whole idea of breaking up and getting back together again, because it, 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 it is an important factor. I know that so many times people will focus on um, just the process of getting back together. And I get it, I totally do. When you're in the throes of that breakup, it can be really difficult and challenging to think about like some of these bigger things. You know, you're just stuck thinking about, oh, what do I say? What do I text? How do I respond to this? What do I do if they don't do that? What do I do if they're in a rebound relationship? That you lose sight of some of these bigger issues at play. And many times you think, okay, well, let me just get them back and then I'll figure about figure out how to keep the relationship strong and then I'll figure out how to do all this stuff. And I get it, you know, I was there. I was driven by desperation to um, actually try out some, some reverse psychology mind game stuff um, way back in the day because just being me, just talking, just showing up as myself, just trying to create an honest connection, it wasn't working. And so I thought, okay, there's clearly some piece of the puzzle that I'm missing here there are all these like weird people on the internet that are saying things like, okay, well, you know, you, you, you can't be yourself because, you know, uh, women want a guy that's like this, or, you know, we all want what we can't have, or whoever cares the least controls the relationship and all that sort of stuff. And so, you know, being confused and not knowing what to do, I bought into it. And so I just decided, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and do what these, you know, seemingly authoritative people, uh, you know, seem to seem to be suggesting, I'm going to do the reverse psychology and mind games and all that sort of stuff. And I told myself, I'll just do this until we get back together. And then I'll do it right. And then I'll switch gears and do the relationship the right way. And I think probably a lot of you watching this video might have that similar sort of mindset. And I get it. Because again, I was there. But the thing is, is that when you make that switch, it's, it's not going to seem natural. It's not going to seem normal. And it's going to require you to, to basically become someone else. And so you're basically doing like a bait and switch. And so that's why many people do have this sort of on again, off again sort of thing. It's because they feel like they need to do something in order to get back together. And then when they are back together, they either get comfortable or they try to do things a different way and then they're not able to sustain the results that they get. Am I saying that you need to use reverse psychology and mind games and all that stuff? No, like I wouldn't recommend that you do that uh, because that's not authentic for who you are. Of course, if you want to do that and you just want to like play mind games and use reverse psychology for the rest of your life and, you know, be there and like tell your, you know, grandkids, yeah, this is how you do it. You got to play mind games and reverse psychology for the next 50 years with your, with, the, with your, you know, spouse or something. That's how you keep them interested in you. Like, oh, oh, okay, fine. Do that. I'm probably not the guy for you. You're probably going to be extremely dissatisfied with, <laughs> with these videos. And I'd recommend that you definitely don't subscribe to this channel if that's the case. And I imagine probably what most of you want is to have a just relaxed, chill relationship where you don't have to, you know, put on this mask, put on this performance, put on this suit of armor, or whatever it is, before you go in and talk to your, your, your spouse, your wife, your husband, your partner, or whatever. You probably just want to have a great, cool relationship where you can relax into your partner's arms knowing that you're loved for who you are. That's fine. That's what I think most people want. And the thing is, is that you're not going to be able to get that unless you are able to show up right now in a way that's productive and aligned with that. If you're not having any luck with the mind games, the reverse psychology and all of that, you don't need to do that. You can let go of it. Sure, it might be difficult because you're thinking like, okay, well, I've tried the heartfelt handwritten letter. I've tried, you know, apologizing for everything I've done wrong. I've begged, I've pleaded and all that, and it didn't work. What am I supposed to do? That's where I am here to challenge you to look deeper at things like, how are you showing up? What is your energy? 
Like, what are you energetically aligned to? I know we're getting into some like, you know, woo woo stuff here, but uh, this is this is actually really important, especially when it comes to relationships. Like, if you're bringing so much anxiety and fear and insecurity into your interactions because, I don't know, you have some issues with your parents or something like that, and you think that no one will ever love you, then you're bringing that energy with you into your relationships. And you're gonna naturally either behave in ways that cause people to get frustrated with you, thus you know proving to you that, hey, no one can love me, or you're going to be drawn towards people that somehow have the, you know, uh, lack the capacity to love you, and thus they, 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 they prove and validate this belief of like, okay, look at that, nobody can love me, um, or something like, and so we just end up in these like repeating loops over and over and over again. If you find yourself breaking up and getting back together many, many, many times, you want to look at, are you putting on an act? Are you pretending to be someone that you're not? Are you doing something when things seem bad and then switching and doing something else once you feel comfortable or, or maybe imagining that you might do that? Um, and then are you aligned with what is it, what it is that you believe that you want? Are you like energetically aligned with it? If you're not, then you know, you want to work through some of these things, but I'd really recommend that you tighten these sorts of things up because when you can start to do that, you're going to uh, get much better results with, with these sorts of things, with, with your relationships. Of course, there are practical things as well too, like getting on the same team, communication and trust. These are practical things, but we wanna look at the deeper level stuff here as well too. Because if you're showing up in the right way, and if you also have the right strategy of you know getting your partner on the same team, having clear communication so that you don't repeat the same patterns over and over and over again, then you're definitely not going to end up breaking up over and over again. You're not. You're going to be able to break this uh, chain, this pattern of constant breakups, and you're going to be able to have a great harmonious relationship. You know, um, we've had uh, clients who have gone on to have great, wonderful relationships um, after things like this. You know, my wife is actually good friends with one of our early clients who's, um, you know, gone on and gotten married to her ex, and they've uh, had one kid, maybe two, I'm not sure, at least one kid. Um, and you know, my wife and her end up swapping like parenting stories and all that because our kids are around the same age. It's important to do this. You can do this. There are people that have done this. It's gonna take you to stretch yourself a little bit. It's gonna take you to do some things a little bit differently, but yes, you can do this. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below letting me know what sort of patterns you have that cause you and your ex to break up over and over again, whether it's something totally practical, like, yeah, we argue all the time, or, you know, they keep cheating on me or something like that, or whether it's something, and this, this, this is where things get better. If you can look energetically at a deeper level of what is it that you are bringing energetically to the table? Are you bringing insecurity? Are you bringing lack? Are you bringing validation seeking? Are you bringing people pleasing? Are you bringing something else? that's maybe out of alignment with what it is that you actually want here. I'd encourage you to think about this and then uh, go ahead and post that down in the comment section below. Anyway, thanks so much. Take care and I'll talk to you next time.